Hello everybody. Good morning or good day. Anyway, I was on uh, YouTube and I was looking around and I saw that uh, they, uh, this guy did a, a little write-up on the uh, Conley uh, uh, bags for a T-Sport. Uh, the replacement bags that you can get, you know. Um, and I actually do have a, um, a T-Sport um, that I bought, shipped out of New York State and had it shipped out here to California and it is uh, equipped uh, with an S&S &S 126 short stroke uh, large bore uh, actually it's a it's a uh, it's not really a race motor because it's not set up for that I got a smaller cam in it it's got a 625 instead of the 640 but uh, yeah, it's pretty fast but anyway uh, back to the subject at hand. Um, I wanted to I wanted to show you guys these uh, Leather Pro bags that I purchased. I had, you know, I had a set of the stock uh, bags that came with the bike, and you know, really I didn't like them because, well, one, they were pretty worn out, and uh, and the tops were flattened out. You know, the uh, the leather top here that that goes on the top here, it was uh, they were flattened out and. Uh, and and pretty old you know just worn out so I decided to go ahead and um, purchase a set of leather pros and I you know and and uh, after doing some research you know you can see this is a t-sport here's the connector where is it at oh, right here yeah here's the connector for the uh, for the old bags where it would uh, snap to the frame and the little stud came off of that and I took that stud off but uh, um, you can see that um, these bags are really solid. I mean, they hold really, they hold on really good, and they have a cam over lock system. Now, if I open up the bag um, and look inside, hang on a second. I'm trying to do all this stuff with one hand here, and it's kind of a pain. Okay, so, if I open up the bag, and you can look inside. And as you can see right now, let me back up a little bit. This is what the inside of the bag looks like. Now it looks like this bag has been hand molded down here in some of these places. You know, it's a little rough. But what happened was uh, the original, um, the original uh, interior of the bag was built. Um, you know, uh, manufactured, hand manufactured, and then once they were done, they made molds. And the mold transferred all the, you know, all the little uh, indiscrepancies, little little uh, hash marks, rough spots, and little grind marks and things like that. But this is the lock system right here for it. All it is is a rod. It goes down and it locks the back. I'll show you that in a second. But I wanted to show you these bags because I, I feel they're a, a far superior to the uh, Conleys. Um, they're, um, well, not far superior, but I, I believe they're a better bag, and I'm going to show you a couple of reasons why I believe that right now. Let me just get this thing open. Okay. Pop that lock off of there. Hang on a minute. Okay. Turn that up like that. Just throw that right now. Let me take that out put it over here. All right. And then as you can see, it's got this cam over system, which I will give you a better look at it. Here, I'm trying to do this here well with one hand, like I said. Sorry about that. You lift up this, this lever, and the bag comes right off. And what is left, when you take the bag off, what is left is just two studs that are pretty much... Um, the only thing left on the bike when you take the bag off. And with the Conleys, I don't know if you've ever seen the Conley when the bag is taken off, but there's a huge bracket that comes down like this, and you know, it goes down and around, has a platform down here, and another thing, it comes up. And it's kind of like all the temporary bags that you can buy, you know, uh, the universal bags, the, they're all like that. And um, this bag is, 
you know, these bags uh, come off almost uh, similar to Harley Davidson style. Now, if you look <clears throat> at the back, you can see the cam over, the cam over locking device. You see what this does is it, it comes down and it, and it grips. You can see the little thing coming in right here and here. Um, the little arms. And you can see how they, 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 they cam over and lock down. And when it hits a certain point, it snaps into place and holds the bag right in, you know, holds the bag. And it's a really sturdy design. I mean, the guy is standing in them. One of his pictures, he's standing in them. And, uh, you know, I'm sorry for the photography, but that's about it. The, you know, the bags are, in my opinion, they're far superior. In terms of a heat shield, you can see here on the bottom of the bag, there is a, there's an aluminum heat shield to protect the bag on the exhaust side. And you can uh, contact him, and he can put one on the other side, too, if you need to do that. Uh, if you have a pipe setup that is going to affect the other bag. But this is a this is a, a a Borzilla pipe that I have on there right now, loud as hell, but it runs good with it. So I'm gonna leave it like that. Anyway, I hope this helps with uh, your decision making process. Look up the T Sport. Uh, look up under T Sport uh, uh, FX DXT, and uh, you'll see you you probably run across that other uh, write up on that uh, on the Conley bags, and you'll see what I mean about the bracketry. Anyway, have a nice day. Bye.